Okay, this is a test to uh, see if we can use liquify filter to create a frame GIF animation. So I found this image of this girl not smiling and we're going to try to make her smile. So first off, let's unlock the back layer by double clicking and pushing OK. We'll push Command J a couple times so we have a few instances. Let's go ahead and do four of them. <clears throat> so layer zero is going to be no smile. This top copy number three is going to be big smile and then we'll walk it in between. So let's go to layer zero copy here and we're going to go ahead and hide the layers above it so we can actually see what we're working on. We're now going to use the liquify filter uh, option here and liquify will open up the menu here and we're able to go to their smile. Now because we're doing a series of steps rather than doing this by hand we're going to use the sliders on the right hand side in the properties area. So once I can find on face number one, I find the mouth here. And we're going to look at this smile, and we're going to go ahead and turn that up. And we can see if we turn it way up to 100, then she actually has a smile. It's kind of a creepy smile, but it is what it is. So knowing that we want to ultimately get to 100 for her face to look like we want, then we're going to step up. So halfway between 0 and 100 is going to be 50, but we want to go a third of the way. Um, so we're going to go to about 34, we'll call it. So she starts to smile a little bit. We say OK. So layer 2 here, she's starting to smile. Or, yeah, layer 0, copy. Then we come to this next one, filter, liquify, and again back to smile. We'll go farther up. That would be like 66, we'll call it 67. So she's smiling more. Say OK. And then we bring back the top one here, filter, liquify. We can take that smile all the way up. And we say OK. Now this would obviously work for any feature that we can adjust in liquify uh, as well. So now that we have our four layers, as she smiles, and I might have gone in and made adjustments to like cheek position and stuff as well if I was trying to do this authentically, but I'm just playing around. So now with our timeline open, we have the option down here for create frame animation. I'm going to say OK. I have an option to, uh, under the menu here, to make frames from layers. And that's going to take each one of those layers there and make them into their own frame. And then we have our animation. So if I play this, it will loop back and forth her smiling. Now, if I wanted her to smile and then stop because it was looping back around from full smile to nothing, I can go ahead and <coughs> make duplicates of each of these. So I'm going to duplicate layer 3, slide it over, duplicate layer 2, slide it over, duplicate layer 1, slide it over. And I'm actually going to duplicate her smile so it holds just a little bit longer too. So now it should play up and back like that. I might want to lengthen that out a little bit. Click first one, hold shift, click the last one. Let's use uh, 0.2 seconds here so it'll play a little bit nicer. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's uh, the basics of how I would do it. There's some things obviously I would touch up, but it was more interesting to see if I could even do a liquify uh, animation, and you can.